Okay, so this is Sunday, the 15th of March, and with all of the scares about toilet paper running out, my husband and I decided to, well, actually, I decided to purchase some um, bidet toilet kits from Amazon, and they came in. So this is what I bought. comes in a little box like this, and it hooks up to the water line at the toilet, and you didn't has a little shower head that you clean yourself with. Um, so what you get is some Teflon tape and the valve that this side is what transfers the water from the water line to the shower head here. This fits up into the tank. This goes down to the water line and this is the hose that hooks to the shower head that comes in the box. And you have your shower head, or actually you have the holder for the shower head that fits inside the tank itself, and a little sprayer, I call it a shower head, and the tubing. Okay, so I'm going to turn this camera around so that you can see my attempt to put it on the tank and oh it calls also for a rag or a towel which I have and a wrench or a pair of pliers. All right so I'm going to turn this camera around and show you the process for us women who need to learn how to do things for ourselves. So here's my water line to our toilet. I've already turned it off and I flushed it twice to get, get water out as much as possible and this is where you take it off from up here. This side you leave on. So you want to disconnect the main water line from the tank after you have flushed the flushed the tank a couple of times to empty out the water. And we have to add Teflon tape to this part. Okay, where are you? Tell you I'm doing really good. Anyways, you're supposed to. This is a tight fit for me here. It's driving me crazy. Get a couple of rounds. Break some off. Oh, man. I'll try it again. I actually started this earlier and I forgot to add the tape and it's just not working out for me right now. It's really... <clears throat> I'm going to have to redo this whole thing. That is just not going to work out. Okay. It wants to bunch up on me and it's such a tight little fit. Okay, let's see if I can keep it from doing that. I'm sorry if I'm in your all's way and you can't see. I should go find a bigger bathroom to work in. Okay, here we go, maybe. Okay, get in there. This is to help prevent water from leaking. And there it goes, bunching up again. Oh well. I would never be a plumber. Okay, so this is the valve. It goes this way. And they want you to put it on by hand, and then if you have to, use your wrench, and it's all going to come off now. Come on. There we go. All right, and I probably don't even have it on there good enough. 
Anyways, you can use your wrench to tighten it down as you need to, but not too tight. Forget it. I'll do it later. Okay. <clears throat> so you want to put Teflon tape here and here as well. So I'm going to pause this and do that real quick. Okay, I've got the Teflon tape on. Now you want to put your water line back on down here. Come on. Definitely going to have to tighten the top. I'm probably always in your way and you can't see anything. Okay, this is the hose. It looks like this. And you just take, turn this to take the blue part off and make sure the washer's in there. And it goes on here. Use your wrench to tighten it up, but not too tight. And I've still got to tighten this up before I try the water line. It's just hard to get in here and try not to block your view. Okay. And then I've already taken off for the other end. And you want to also tape up this side. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I've taped it up. Okay, and then you <laughs> Okay, there we go. Screw that on. Okay, I'm going to pause this and make sure everything is tightened before I show you it works. Okay, I had a little issue with leaking from here, so I had to tighten it up a little more. I think I got it solved. And this is the valve, so you can turn this. If you have it all the way, it's going to have a lot of pressure. So you want to bring it back a little bit to give you a softer, a softer pressure. But let me show you here. It works. You can clean yourself. And move the camera up where you can see things. Okay, so now we're going to put you can see this, this attachment on the tank at the side. Wherever it works for you. And then there you go. You have a bidet. So, you run out of toilet paper, you can shower your booty in the toilet. If you don't have the money for one of these, like I said, it was like $28 plus shipping and handling, tax, whatever. Um, you can, there's a, a redneck version going around on Facebook. You could probably do something like that a lot cheaper. Or, you know, you can use, let me turn this around. Okay, so this is the way that you put together a bidet toilet kit. So the company that I bought it from was Amazon and the product is called JP Bathroom Master and it comes from JP Bathroommaster.com. Um, we bought, like I said, we bought three of these because we have three toilets to do, or I do. And I, I didn't want to have to, you know, deal with, with cloth. I'm not using paper towels that clogs the toilet. And 
otherwise you'd have to you know clean up in the shower or if you even if you have a bathtub you know right here this thing right here you can get the hose that hooks to that or even to the shower if it's long enough and use that if your toilet's close enough um, to the shower but the bidet is a really good idea uh, as an alternative to toilet paper and you have to remember too that even if you do use toilet paper it doesn't it, it the, your flu body fluids are still gonna leak through sometimes and get on your hands so you no matter what you still have to wash really good to kill germs and bacteria and I just think that this bidet is a really good idea they're not that expensive and if you can you know you can there's a redneck version going around on Facebook you could do that and save a little money um, but I hope this helps and I hope this gives people a chance to think outside the box for what we need again don't don't flush paper towels it will clog your toilet it'll clog the system and the best thing to do is just use cloth uh, recycle cloth get old bed sheets and you can wash them um, same for you know for the babies people running out of baby wipes you can use a cloth and you can rewash them and you can sanitize them so don't go crazy out there uh, this is an unnecessary panic I think if people would just stop and think our ancestors didn't have toilet paper they had an outhouse they dealt with it and we can too so you guys have a great day and I'll try to come up with another video some other time that you can laugh at. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.